Hi everybody, Craig here. Welcome back to the Battle for Westnoth campaign, Descent into Darkness. In our last episode, we completed Scenario 4, which involved us fighting our way through the mountain pass and dealing with some nasty winter conditions. Now thankfully we were able to get Malin up to the signpost here, but man this was a tough scenario. We barely made it through in time, you can see we only had a couple turns left, and that means unfortunately not a ton of gold carrying forward into the next scenario. Good news is we have two level 3 gas that we've now acquired, which is fantastic. So um, I think overall we're still in good shape, but I'm worried that maybe our lack of finances here going forward might be a problem. So before we jump into the next scenario, however, I did just want to give a quick shout out to Paulo Eberman. Paulo had a great comment on the last scenario, the last episode, regarding um, resistances and specifically my Spectral Servant. So I had forgotten that the Spectral Servant has 50% Blade and Pierce resistance, as you can see there. So that's relevant because I was worried about how the Warlord would be able to effectively one-hit my Servant. But in reality, it would take probably two hits from the Great Sword, or maybe even three, uh, depending on the time of day. So just a good reminder there that uh, the resistances factor in quite a bit. Because again, when you're looking at it here, you see 19 and 10. But in reality, that's cut in half when you factor in those resistances. It's just a great reminder from Paulo. Now without any further ado, let's jump into the next scenario. The cycle of the seasons churns and summer and fall roll around once more. Malin's thoughts turn back to Parthen frequently, where a year prior he had still been among family and friends in the rustic little town that he still thinks of as his home. He has since become a forsaken wanderer, he thinks but the still burning image of his father being cut down amidst the ruins of his home is stamped deep into his thoughts. Companionship and peace. Perhaps they are but a farce, and certainly an impossibility with the threat of the Orcish clan still looming. It was a choice to live and suffer the path of solitary vengeance rather than appease the law of his land, and thus watch his home burn. It was a choice, he admits, not destiny, not fate. It is a choice that he oft ponders, but usually comes to the same conclusion. Perhaps there is no point in reminiscing on his once tranquil pastoral life. He has never been one for regrets. Malin turns his attention to the task at hand. Darken Volk leads him through the heart of the White Fang territory, where they terrorize and murder entire camps of orcs with their undead minions. Word spreads among the orcish towns, which begin to post more guards and dispatch frequent patrols to exterminate the two necromancers. All of their attempts fail. As Malin and Darken Volk continue their raids on the orcs, they eventually force the usually fractious White Fang chieftains to unite in opposition. The orcs pursue the two necromancers east, toward the mouth of the river humans call the Longlier and elves call the Arkanthoria, where they manage to surround the humans and force a fight. Schism. Even before the very founding of Westnoth, you have hounded my people at every turn. You have trampled our fields, slaughtered our livestock, and burned our houses. You have brought war to a place of peace and death to a place of life. You are nothing but remorseless killers and savage beasts. Your kind deserves no mercy and shall receive none. I will crush you into the dust and make you into my slaves for all eternity. The silly necromancer is trying to talk us to death. You have caused us enough trouble, human. It is time for you to die. Um, unless you are already dead, like the skeletons? Then it will be time for you to die again. Alright, here we are. Scenario 5, Schism. Our victory condition is to kill the orcish leaders, and our defeat conditions are the death of Malin, Darkin, or if our turns run out and we have 37 turns remaining, standard gold carryover is going to be in effect. Now, if we look at the map here, I can see we've got an orcish leader in the sort of eastern corner of the map. One to the northwestern portion of the map. And then one to the southwestern portion of the map, it looks like. Plenty of villages down here, which I suspect will become occupied quickly by this guy's units. Um, we are smack dab in the middle of these three orcish commanders, which I suspect is going to be a problem as from what I can see here, we don't have a ton of gold to work with to start here. Part of that, again, my fault from not getting through that other mission more quickly. 
I don't know if we're going to have enough forces to fight on three fronts here. So my thought is maybe we rush the closest orc, which I think is this one here to the northwest, and see if we can maybe take him out and then occupy his village, um, or his castle, I should say, and then use Malin. I can put Malin right here and recruit more troops. Alternatively, maybe we just try to kill him and then head south. Oh, you know what? Okay, I like this idea. I think maybe better. We kill him if we can. We kill this northern one. We head south, try and get across the bridge. Kill this guy quick. And if we're able to get the kill on him, then we could occupy all these villages, build up our forces, and go for the final remaining opponent. I don't know. I mean, I'm just kind of playing with ideas, but I, I like that. I think that's what we're going to try. So we'll move Darken over this way. And we'll recall our ghasts. Like I said, they are going to be... I think heavily important for us here. Bring back our bone shooter Sora. We'll recall our Revenant. And there was a request from Nicola Parado to rename the Revenant as Tank. I will do that. That's now our unit Tank. And then we have our Spectral Servant. And Nicola had also asked for this unit to be renamed as Light. So I will do that now. And I think that's going to do it for our first turn. There's really nothing for Malin to do at this point, so we will end it there. And you know what? I'm I'm thinking about it. I might even send Malin with the troops because I think we're going to basically run out of gold here with another set of recruitment. Oh, man, look at this. We've got the level 2 troll that has the club, which has impact-based damage. That can really mess us up. We have to be super careful. Oh, and Assassins, too. That could be bad. But, of course, we're not vulnerable to poison, thank goodness. Um, but these things are scary. The trolls, because our skeletons are susceptible to that impact-based damage, which could really cause us some problems. All right, well, let's get our units here moved up. So, I was thinking, like, I could put some units on this bridge, but I don't have enough money. So, I think I'm going to just recruit another wave of troops, send them all over here, and just hope for the best. I'm going to have to give up my villages probably to this set of units over here, and they'll just come in and take them. But then maybe I can kind of rotate down and, uh, you know, again, try to reestablish myself in the south. I don't Honestly, I don't really know what else to do, so because I just don't think I have enough resources to fight on multiple fronts. We don't really have anybody else to recall, so I'm going to start recruiting. And I think we're just going to go for skeletons here primarily. And I might even grab myself a Skeleton Archer or two. You know what? Yeah, I think I'll grab two Skeleton Archers. And that's going to do it. Like, we've got a little bit of gold left, but where we have a negative gold income. So, Malin's just going to cruise up with his troops, I think. That's going to be the best plan for them. Darken can grab this village. And that's going to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Alright, so let's see. Looks like fairly standard orcish units coming from the south, which is all right, I guess. <clears throat> like I said, I'm pretty scared of these trolls. They can, especially with skeletons, they can just decimate my troops. So, um, oh, you know what? Good news here. We can get our gas involved and go for some big poison damage. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very nice. And then Sora can probably get the kill here. Yeah, we just have to hit twice. Okay, well, very close anyway. This unit will probably retreat back now that it's poisoned to try to run and hide a little bit, which is fine, I guess. Nice, good poison. Oh, really good poison. And then you know what? Darken could probably try for the kill here with a chill wave. Nice, that's really good. Um, Okay, our... Oh, you know what? Hang on a minute. Ooh, you know what, though? I was going to move our Spectral Servant in to kill this grunt but then the warlord and this crosswoman could step out and cause us grief we would be at, at vulnerable here if we go there you can see they can hit us so i'm gonna stay back um one thing i suppose i could do oh no i was gonna move malin up to right here and kill this guy but if i do that then the warlord could still go right there and, and attack malin and then also with this archer he could die that's so frustrating. I suppose I could put... Uh, I could go here, maybe, and just try. This is a risk, but uh, let's do it. I, I'm already regretting it. Okay, good. We got the kill. 
Um, oh, and then you know what? Yeah, let's put tank right here. That's okay there. Now I feel a little better about it. Nice. That went pretty well. Um, now our skeletons here, we're just going to cruise over pretty aggressively, I think. Put Malin here. And then we're just going to send them. We want to get a foothold on this bridge so that we can start moving south once we've hopefully killed off this guy. That's that's the goal here. Nice. Okay, he's coming out to face us. That's going to make this easier. Oh, those fire arrows suck. Man, those crossbowmen are dangerous. Uh-oh. Okay, this is actually getting a little nasty. Thank goodness. Okay, we need to get these units in. Look like look at this. We're going to get pincered in. It's going to be like a triangle. We're going to get hit by all from all sides. Um, can we need to kill well what we need to try and do is get a poison on this guy if we can. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay, we took two out of the three hits. He took all three. Um, we've got him in a really good spot now. I wonder if we could get the kill. If we land all three, we could get the kill here. I don't know how likely that is. Let's try it. Nope. Come on. Yes. Okay. We're still in pretty good shape, though. Um. Oh, you know what? Can we, can we go like this? And then... Ooh, we'd be at risk of getting killed, though. Okay, what if we were to move back like this and then either Darkin or Malin or somebody else could step up and get the finish? Even our other Ghast, maybe. Could just try for it with our Revenant, but I don't want him to get killed necessarily. At least not, you know, without a more purpose to it. Now here, this would be great. We can try and get the kill like this. Let's Let's try for it. Except it once. Yes, there it is. How puny and weak you look in death. Okay, excellent. Good experience gain for that skeleton as well. All right, now this level 2 crossbowman is pretty dangerous. Um, I would like to maybe try and get a poison on him if I can. The only problem is now, like I said, I want to push south. So I think I am going to try, though, because I, I need to get him out of the fight. Yes, there it is. Okay, great. He, he does a lot of damage, and we just can't afford to really have him able to inflict nasty punishment on us like that so um okay we can get just looking to see where we're able to go uh unfortunately malin and garkin are both kind of here i think we'll be okay we can probably blast this guy oh well now we're not going to be okay because we needed to get more damage on him to get the kill we're not going to be able to do that Damn. Oh, that really sucks. Um, okay, this skeleton's just going to have to go down and try to do something. Because now, Darkin can get hit by both the Grunt and this Archer, and it could really mess him up. Um, I think Malin might even have to take a step back and go and do some... Oh, this... We have to hit both. Let's hope we get lucky here, maybe. Oh, this sucks. Come on, one... Yes, there it is. Okay, we really needed that. Um, Spectral Servant is very close to leveling up, but it would be a lot of risk to put a Servant like down here and try to maybe get the kill. Because then, you know, we could get attacked by this archer, the crossbowman, who's probably going to just go back and try to heal. Not to mention this archer, and then, you know, we would basically be down a uh, Spectral Servant, which would be really unfortunate because that unit is loyal. And it levels up kind of in a unique fashion, too, just like Malin does. Um, I think we're just going to have to play it a little more conservatively, as much as I hate to do that. So I want to just try and get the, get the kill if I can and get the experience, but... Oh, you know what? Okay, hang on. Here might be the solution. Yeah, that's the solution. Okay, we're going to go here. This is still a big gamble, but it's less of a gamble, I think. If we get the kill. Come on, get that kill. Yes! Okay, we needed that. Um, Oh, and look at this. We're going to level up to be a phantom. And we can get... Ooh, nice. We could get extra range damage and a little bit more health. I'm going to take that. 
Now the problem, though, is that this unit could kill, could either kill us or really close to kill us with that fire arrow. I just hope that doesn't happen. Good news, though, is I think we are resistant to fire a little bit. Yeah, we have 10% fire resistance. Not, not great. The only one we're susceptible to is arcane. Let's just hope and pray that doesn't happen. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, that's fine. Just can't lose that. No! No! Oh, man, we lost our Spectral Servant. That's terrible. That is so terrible. Oh, man. Okay, well, we're just going to have to keep rolling with it. Um, geez, that sucks. Okay, um, let's see. Maybe we can... I'm trying to think what would be best here. The problem is our units have kind of gotten bogged down now in the fighting, which is really not what we need. And again, that was a big gamble. I, I, I didn't think we'd get hit by both, but we did. That's really, really unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're just going to have to keep um, keep rolling. Um, okay, we've got the archer here, so let's get our melee units up front and just start hammering. <gasps> Can't let this guy evolve. That would be a disaster. Nice. Um, you know what? Uh, probably would be... Yeah, let's get down here for the experience gain. Come on, land that hit. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Close to a level up. That's good. We needed that. Um, I think what we will do is we will step down... Maybe like this and go for the poison here yes one more yes there's the kill and a little bit more uh, hit points that's always good um you know what this gas can go yeah let's try this we just have to hit once nice okay that's wonderful again it really sucks losing that spectral servant but um at least we are in semi-decent shape now otherwise um Again, I could use Darken, but I don't necessarily want to risk him taking a bunch of retaliatory attacks. I'm going to put the Bone Shooter up front, or excuse me, the Skeleton Archer up front. We'll do this. There it is. Okay, that's not bad. Um, this Skeleton is hurt, so maybe we retreat back for some healing. Uh, bone Shooter can move up like this. Um... Alternatively, this skeleton, we could get real aggressive, but I think probably better to play it a little more conservative. Oh, and these, yeah, these units are going to be on us right away, so we've really got to push to get across this bridge. Like this, Darken is going to go here. Actually, no, Malin is going to go like this, and then we're just going to sit where we are. Like I said, oh man, losing that Spectral Servant, that just sucks. <laughs> At some point, then, we'll have to recruit a ghost and try to level it up to kind of form a bit of a replacement for that. Not that um, not that we're going to be able to fully replace that unit because it is a special unit, but... Uh, okay, we have to figure out how to do this properly without sacrificing our units. Um, just looking at this. So we want to... Kill this guy for sure. Don't want to get bogged down. We could soften him up here. Let's do that. Wow. Okay. Great. Like, I didn't even want to hit him. That's fine. Um, Thora can come down. We'd have to hit twice. There it is. That's better. Um, okay. Then we got to just push across the bridge. Yeah, with our melee units, I think. Ooh, and they've got a Goblin Knight. These units are pretty strong. Have to be pretty careful. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll go like this. There, that's pretty good. And we can do some good damage, yep. Thankfully, as skeletons, we're pretty resistant to those Fang attacks. Um, Alright, here's what I'm thinking. So, if we take our Revenant, who's now pretty healthy, we can start moving across the bridge there... I think the ghast probably we want to bring down. 
This ghast is unfortunately in kind of rough shape, and we can't dilly-dally very long because these trolls are going to be on us very, very shortly. So I think what we do here... Oh, we've got this darn orcish archer, too. I mean, ideally, I'd love to just kill him if I could. Um, I don't think there's a great way to do that, though. At least not easily. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take... We, we do need to keep a rear guard, and I think that's where this skeleton's going to come in handy. Um, so this guy, we're going to send down like this. This ghast is going to go as far down as he can. So we'll get Malin and Darken onto the bridge. We're going to have Tank form part of the rear guard. Again, like I said, I think this skeleton... There's a big part of me that's tempted to put Darken in there. But I don't want him to take the damage. That that would be un, un, unacceptable. So we'll go down like this. Like I said, this guy's going to form the rear guard. So he can stay there one more turn. That's fine. We need to get this guy to level up. That would be pretty critical for us, I think. Um, oh, I'm tempted to put Mal in there and go for the kill. But again, it, I think that's dangerous. You know what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And we'll attack. Yeah. There it is. We might be able to get the kill on him next turn. Maybe. We even go like that. You know what? That's not the worst idea. Ooh, he does have fire arrows, though. That might be... You know what? That'd be kind of stupid. Yeah, we'll just go like this. Boy, this, um... This is tricky. Okay, good. We dodged that. All right, now here's the scary unit. This goblin knight is very strong. Thankfully, though, our skeleton's making uh, quick work of them, which is great. Again, resistant to that damage type, which is hugely important for us. Uh-oh. Oh, good, we got a poison. Oh, wonderful, and almost a kill outright. Okay, um... This skeleton... Again, we wanted to get a kill really bad. What are our odds here? Oh, we won't get the kill. Dang it. We need to soften him up first. Um, well, here's an idea. Okay. This goblin knight is in kind of rough shape. We could get Malin down here. Blast him pretty heavily. Hang on, then. Are we at risk? Ooh, we are. Oh, okay, good. The warlord can't get to us, though. So we could put Darken or Mal in here. Blast the ever-loving heck out of this knight. Yeah, okay. So the only problem is whoever we put there is going to be vulnerable to the warlord. Just remember that. You know what? Maybe we put Sora there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, Sora's going to go down. Oh, jeez. Like, we really need to get those hits. Like, that is so frustrating. Let's see if we can land some hits here. Like nothing. We're just we're whiffing on everything here. This is just not ideal. Um right, can we even get the kill now? Yeah, if we hit both. This is a this is a dangerous gamble. This is a really dangerous gamble. I think we're gonna do it though. Let's let's hope. Yes! Okay, big. That was huge. Plus, we got some good experience with Malin, which we need. Um alright, back here we we have to form our rear guard up properly, so. Don't want to lose our units if we can avoid it. Let's go here and try and get the kill this way. Yep. There we go. Okay. And then over here now, you know what? We can just soften this guy up a little bit, maybe. Yep. We're going to take a lot of damage, and that's fine. Oh, we didn't soften him up as much as I would have liked, but we could go here and then... We just have to... Oh, we still have to hit all three. Let's hope we get lucky. 80% chance each time. Yes! And there's the level up. Amazing. Here's another Revenant. That's massively important for us. Okay. And look at that. Now we've got another Skeleton Archer. And I might even put that Archer in front of... Malin. Ah. No, you know what? It's fine. Malin's okay where he is. Darken can move up like this. Our gas can go like this. Um, tank can probably move up. Yeah, let's be careful here. Go 
like this maybe should be fine and then kind of over here i think that's going to be okay okay we're going to end it there uh oh Ooh, those fire arrows you know it's really unfortunate because he just keeps recruiting troops as well which is making this a lot harder malin just took some punishment which is not ideal Like, pretty much all of my hopes are riding on us getting down to this village, or uh, getting down to this southern post. The problem, though, is look at our gold. We're, we're running a, a deficit because all our villages have been captured. So I don't know how we're going to do this, because even if we can get down here and grab all these villages, this guy has so many villages now. He's captured all of these up here. And I think they have a shared money pool. They're all the white... Uh, the, they're all the same force. So, like, I, I don't know here. I don't know if we can do this. We're going to keep trying. We're not giving up. But this is really not going the way I would have I liked. Um, let's try and get the kill with Mal in here. Yeah, there it is. Getting really close to a level up, which is good. Um, Sora can go like this, maybe? It's a bit risky, but it at least gets our ghast into a good position to be able to then do this. Come on. Yes. Yes. There, we needed that. Okay. And then let's try for the kill. Wonderful. And now we have a bit more uh, room to then move our units. So we can move this skeleton more aggressively here like this. And that at least protects our bone shooter a bit. Um... I'd like to put tank here as well. That provides a bit of protection. Darken can advance. Our revenant up here can advance as well. I think we'll go maybe like that. Yeah, that's fine. And then... Now we want to just try and hold this bridge. So we're going to go... We're going to keep that unit where it is and then go like this. And these units are just going to be there to hold the bridge. It's their entire purpose. Alright, I think that's the best we can do. All of my hopes are riding on us killing this warlord here and then somehow digging ourselves out of this financial hole we're in, which I don't even think it's possible. Uh, but we're going to try. We're not giving up. Alternatively, maybe we can get lucky and rotate ourselves. Oh, and look at that. The warlords come out to fight. That's really good. Maybe if we keep rotating around this way, we can kind of bypass most of the enemy troops and get in there to fight the enemy leader. I don't really know, though. Like, I, you know, I, again, maybe I should have stayed put, or maybe I should have, once I killed this commander, tried to hold this part of the map and just have units on the bridges. I don't know. I don't know. This this one is really hard. Okay, anyway, sorry, I got kind of distracted with my own thinking about how to handle this. Um, what we need to do is try to surround this warlord so he can't run away. Um, we need to get a poison on him, like, ASAP, so let's try this. Yes! Oh, that's incredible. Okay, I don't even care. If we lose the gas, it, it almost doesn't even matter at this point. We need to do maximum damage to this guy. Um, we're going to go up here. Hold on a second. Thora could do a lot of damage. The problem, too, is this guy's bow attack does a fair bit of damage. We have to watch out for that. I think what we'll do, though, is we'll put Sora here. Go for the kill like this. We hit twice. Okay, we didn't. That's unfortunate. Um, we'd have to hit twice. Jeez, of course not. Um get the kill here then if we can yep okay oh that's great now this opens up more opportunities okay um we can go here yes and then darken can go like this and malin can go there okay wonderful we should be able to maybe kill this guy now it's gonna be tough but i think we can do it we're just gonna have to get some hits yeah there okay there's one um malin can go here and try the same thing with cold attacks i think i'd rather maybe try and at least get something done with my revenant though first just to soften him up unbelievable like 
we just oh we just can't get any any luck there okay and malin missed on one of his and now malin's in really bad shape this is not at all going the way i wanted it to that is for sure okay we will do this we're not at risk of poison thank goodness for that Okay, so the archer's going to hold the bridge for us. We're going to move down here like this, go for some poison. Like, Malin could easily die now, just from getting attacked by this wolf rider and the warlord, if, if he's so inclined here. Okay, at least he's trying to run away, thank goodness for that. Oh no, not our revenant. Okay, good, he's still alive, thank goodness. I don't know what the heck we're going to do, though. Once we... If we're even able to kill this guy and get ourselves into a better position, like, I don't know what we're going to do. Man. Oh, that club attack hurts. Yikes. Like, look at this. There's, there's way too many troops. Um... But let's, let's just keep focused on this. If we can kill this guy, at least we have something to work with. Um, okay, between Sora and Malin, I'm hoping we can kill the Warlord. Um, so let's see, can... Uh, Tank needs to get out of there. Tank is in really bad shape. Let's see, if Darkin goes in, maybe he can kill this guy off. Oh, you know what? Actually, here, Darkin can come over here and get the kill on this Wolf Rider. There it is. Okay, and then Sora... You know what? Actually, I'd like Sora to maybe get this kill here. Yes, okay, there. And we're very close to leveling up. Okay, now, I think between Malin and the rest of our troops here, we should be able to kill this guy. I hope. Oh, we'd have to hit him twice. And if he hits us, we're in big trouble. All right, let's cross our fingers and just hope we get lucky, I guess. I don't really know what else we can do. If we go here, we'd have to hit two out of the, out of the four. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try it. Let's see. Nope. God! Like, come on! You know, it's 70% on both, and we just whiff on both. Man. Anyway, sorry, I know it's annoying that I'm getting so frustrated with it, but this one is really pushing me to my limits here. All right, let's try this. There we go. You and your kind deserve no eternal rest in death. After this battle, I'll raise your corpse and make your bones dance for me, orc. But for now, I've one I've one last one to take care of. Retreat. He flees, the coward. That is no surprise. Orcs may like to make a show of strength, but will always flee in the face of an overwhelming force. Nevertheless, the White Fangs are still numerous and have some ties to other Orcish clans. You must hunt this chieftain down before he can alert the others, else we may soon have dozens more on our tail. By you, you mean on my own? Your apprenticeship is nearly over. You are more than capable of handling a single, half-dead Orc on your own. After you have dealt with him, I do have a small favor I will ask of you. It will constitute the last part of your training. I have some other things that I must attend to in preparation. In a few weeks, meet with me to the west, near the town of Tath. It will be done. Holy cow. Well, I... I, you know, I don't even know how to feel about that. That was, that was so ugly. Um, and again, I had no idea that the other orc was going to flee... Um, I really didn't think this was winnable. I was, I was fully prepared here to, uh, fail this and have to probably repeat this, try and repeat the scenario in a subsequent episode. But I, you know, again, I'm happy. I'm happy I won, but like, holy crap, was that hard? Um, that was very, very difficult. I think that's, I would say that's gotta be one of the hardest scenarios I've ever played. Um, especially because you don't, I didn't know that that other leader was going to retreat. Um, other, I mean, if that, if that third orc doesn't retreat i don't know how you win this scenario like that's that's i guess that kind of makes sense maybe that's sort of the you know it seems unwinnable and then that's the that's the trick right is that that third orc is going to run 
Anyway, okay, enough of my ranting about that. Take a look here. So we 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 had a negative amount of gold as we saw. Um, we ended up finishing quite early though. Thank goodness for that. And we're gonna have a lot of bonus gold to work with. The really unfortunate parts of this, we lost our um our spectral spirit, the um the loyal ghost, which is really, really a shame. Um, that being said, if we take a look, I mean, we still have our ghasts. We did get ourselves another revenant. Sora is a about to level up, which is great. Malin is about to level up. And I think, uh, oh, and it looks like Darken has left. So I don't, I'm assuming we're not going to have him for the next scenario. Although he had gotten more experience and was getting closer. Um, I'm just looking here. So yeah, I mean, really the, the good news, I guess, is we have another revenant. We're about to hopefully have a level three skeletal archer and Malin is very close to leveling up again. So, and we're going to have a lot of gold. That's the other good thing. So we will save this one here. Definitely. Oh, that was, that was so challenging. Holy cow. I, you know, I, again, I'm, I don't mean it as a complaint. Like that was a lot of fun. Um, it was a little frustrating and, and it pushed me right to my limits, but that's, you know, that's the, that's where the fun is had. So, um, We'll, we'll make the best of it, and we will uh, try to use all that gold in the next scenario, I guess. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.